am I recording? I am recording. Okay, cool. Hi guys, what is up? That's cool. Today we're talking about prioritizing. I've been talking about it a little bit while talking about to-do lists and creating them because I feel those two things are very connected. Your to-dos should reflect your priorities in life and the things you want to give your time and your energy and your time. Did I already say time? We'll never know. There is this thing, I'm not sure how it's called, but I know it has a name. I will just put it here on the screen because my lazy ass just can't be bothered to do that now. You make a list of all of your to-dos, interests, things you have to do. And then you categorize them into four categories. And that is, well, categorize into categories. This will be so entertaining for the future me who will be editing this. Love you. Anyways, these categories are important and urgent, important, not urgent, urgent and not important. And then not urgent and not important. I really hope I got it right. Okay, you get the idea, right? Basically, the things that are in the first category are the things you should focus on first things first. In the last category, so not urgent and not important, these are the things we usually like keep pushing off and that's good if we do. Or we do them as a way to procrastinate. <laughs> First things first, I think that having goals is a great way to see where your priorities lie, lie, lay, lie, God. I wish I studied English more. Your goals should reflect the things you value most in life. If you have a goal, it should be meaningful to you. I said should for a reason, because very often they're not. The goals we set for ourselves are so often reflection of what other people want for you or like in general, like, I don't know, drink more water, for example, or meditate, even though you hate it. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying that maybe there are other things you can focus on that are more important and more valuable to you personally. I don't know what's your situation. I don't know if drinking more water is the thing you should focus on the most, if that's what needs your attention the most, you know? I can tell you that, nobody can. And the problem is that people very often try to tell you what you should be doing and you can't listen to them. You have to listen to your own self and set those goals and therefore your priorities for yourself. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Having those goals that are truly meaningful to you is already a basis for putting those first few things on your to-do list. That's generally what I like to do. One of my goals was to create YouTuber. So the video you're watching right now, it's a lot of work and I started working on it in August. It's August right now. When I create my to-do list for every single day, I put YouTuber first. So it's always like filming and editing and outlining new videos. These are already like the three things I do every single day and they are on my to-do list because my goals are my priorities. So just this one goal already takes like two or three of those spots. I only have like three other spots left for the other priorities that I have. This already gives you like a foundation for setting your to-dos accordingly to your goals and that's how you actually accomplish those goals. It won't happen on its own. You have to prioritize those things if you really want to accomplish them. Doing it every single day is the best goddamn way possible. Let's talk about other things because goals are one thing. I think it's so great to have themes in your life. This could be monthly themes, like the happiness project ones. This month I focus on meaningful work. Next month I'm gonna be focusing on my energy levels and being the healthiest I could possibly be in a month. And so on. These are the themes and then different resolutions come into one theme. You could make weekly ones if it's easier for you or you could even make like a daily ones. So for example, on Mondays it's YouTube day and I film YouTube videos and then edit them. And on Fridays, it's my social life day and I meet with friends for coffee. You could make themes for every single day and that would create some sort of balance. Having monthly themes is so freaking good for you. It comes with start point and an end point, generally. You go throughout that month and then after that period of time is over, you're moving on to the next thing. So you don't really get, first of all, you don't get bored. Second of all, you can really give all of your energy and attention to that subject because you know it's temporary. You know it's not gonna be like this forever. It's a great way to trick your mind 
even if you continue on working on that thing because resolutions are there for a reason it's easier to start doing a task when you know it's only for i don't know 20 minutes than if you told yourself that this is the thing i have to do for the rest of my life it's just it's not motivating it seems like a long time and the next thing is you have to strive for balance in order to keep working on your priorities let me explain if you don't balance your life and every part of it you will hate your goals the things you generally want in life you will dread doing them if they take all of the fun from your life they're just not worth it of course there are some things you're gonna have to miss out on in order to get to the point you want to be in life that's perfectly normal and that's actually called prioritizing but that being said if for six months the only thing you would be focusing on was that one goal like building your business you would end up maybe in fact creating your business but have gathered several health problems gained weight lost your boyfriend and probably most of your friends we never can only focus on one thing and that's life and that's completely normal and it wouldn't be okay to ask your friends to be there for you and ignore that you're not being a friend at all and that you're not showing up for them when they need you because you're focusing on building your business right now also i don't think that's a life worth living there are so many parts of life and so many things that make that life beautiful and worth living and that's not only focusing on one goal of course I'm not saying don't work on your goals. I hope you already got that from all the other parts I've been talking about. I say strive for balance, like whatever the subject is, whether that's work, school, kids, whatever. I mean, I don't know. I don't have kids, but they're freaking important, you know? <laughs> whatever it is that you're giving your attention to at the moment, like the most of your attention, you leave some for the other things. And the last tip that is kind of connected to what I just talked about. If you want to make time for other things, prioritize the most important things first things first when you wake up of course you can go with your fancy morning routine to make yourself feel good and stuff but when you sit down to work on something make it the things that really matter and not folding your socks or watching netflix because they just released the favorite series of your new show what if you start with the most important things first if something comes up later if your friends invite you to a party or if an emergency comes up you will have done the most important thing. You do them first, even if you dread them, because sometimes we do, but just do them to get them over with. And then if anything comes up, you will be able to say yes to things you really want to do. And then your goals won't be hurt by that decision. It's not always possible and things will come up like, I don't know, in the morning and you will have to take care of them. But if you can make it a general rule that you do the most important tasks, first things first, in the long run, it will be worth it. That's all I have for you guys today. I love you more than I love coffee and life is your story. So make it a good one. Bye guys.